folks really need to focus on building, not destroying. Now, when I say this, it's it's in a sense. Fighting is not the hard part, and it, it's not. It's it's the dangerous part, of course, but it's not necessarily the hard part. The hard part is rebuilding. interesting thing and 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 i'm going to talk about this because i think it's uh i think it's a great example of what i have been trying to get across to folks <clears throat> multiple times uh, i have said on uh on on this show that one good way to find like-minded individuals is in local town groups and if there's not one that you would feel comfortable discussing that stuff in make your own um fortunately uh i had made a uh a, a town group and it's gotten fairly big uh, i don't want to say the word popularity or popular because it's not a popularity contest um if that's the mindset people go at it with then in in my eyes you failed from the start because uh, it shouldn't be about that it shouldn't be about you it should be about them and so anyway, uh, a gentleman had posted in there with a question. I'm not going to divulge any information, but uh, the question was pretty specific. And uh, I picked up on it, we'll say. And so I went and I kind of checked out the dude's profile. And clearly, uh, he was uh, like-minded. And so, uh, yeah, I made contact, just like I tell y'all to do. Um, make contact, because those people that's around you, those are the people that's important. You know, it's one of the reasons why I get it such a giggle, and I literally mean a giggle, uh, at this whole Prepper Club thing on YouTube, because it's it's a fallacy, because... When that doo-doo hits that spinning oscillator, that club's not going to be there, plain and simple. And if people would invest the same amount of time with the people that they're going to be around, instead of trying to find out what cool new gadgets they can get for their AR-15, maybe they could make some progress. And a whole lot of people that um, I see in, in YouTube chats and comments and, you know, I can't find anybody. I can't find, well, where are you putting your effort? Where are you putting your time? That is the question. Because I see far too many people worried about, and this kind of segues in what we're going to talk about, more worried about how to kill people than what they are trying to figure out how they could help people. And I guarantee you, your life expectancy is going to be, in most cases, a hell of a lot longer if you're more focused on trying to help people than trying to hurt people. Um, I've got a book cover up there on the wall. And I've done a little bit of self-reflection and self-analyzation because I always I, I do this all the time um, I'm my biggest critic I'm telling you and so I'd ask myself the question here I am just a little over halfway through book 12 by angry American exploring home and I don't want to stop reading it 
I don't want to stop. Um, I love the man's way with words. I love how he lays everything out. But as I've said many times, there's a lot of fantasy there in, in those novels. And so you really have to take stock in that and understand that as you're reading. It is a book. It is it is a fiction novel. It's for your entertainment and it should be entertaining. But we don't want to we don't want to go too far like with the the movie mindset and thinking like that SHTF is going to be like The Walking Dead. It's not. And I uh I had to ask myself, well, why is it? What is it that keeps me, what keeps me going back to that? And the answer is rebuilding. Because the entire time, the entire time, they're rebuilding. It's not, yeah, there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of shoot out of, you know. Sure there is. Again, it's a novel. It's entertainment. Yes, in reality, that stuff will happen. But there is a whole hell of a lot of content out there, whether it be in a reading form, whether it be in video form. A lot of content out there about violence. Not hard to find at all. But what there is not is a whole lot on rebuilding. And I think out of all of the authors that I've read, and I'm talking all of them, including William Fortune. I mean, I've, I've read quite a few different authors' books when it comes to, you know, SHTF. Hands down, Angry Americans series here goes far above and beyond any other series when it comes to rebuilding. And that is why I think I love it so much. Plus, I love the main character. Um, you know, I was disappointed, and this is my fault. This is my fault. I was disappointed because I wanted so much for the author to be like his main character, right? And he's not. <laughs> And I wanted so much for that. And that's probably all on me. Um, but I do identify quite a bit. I mean, there's a, a lot of differences as, as in uh, our types of intellect. Um, you know, like uh, Morgan knows a lot about wild edible plants and stuff like that. I'm not well versed in that particular area. But there's a whole hell of a lot of areas that I'm well versed that Morgan isn't. And um, but as far as his attitude, his way about going about things, his his honesty, his fairness, his uh, you know he he's he's a fair, equal, honest person. And um, he the book, the character in the book really truly does remind me a whole hell of a lot of myself. And I know a lot of people will make claims to be that kind of person um but i i just the only thing i can tell people is just look at my actions that's all i can tell you um i run a town group i'm not gonna run anybody off because of their political opinion or because of whatever their social opinion I, i'm not gonna run them off they're safe there um there is only one thing that I had put my foot down and no, absolutely not. And I'm sorry whether it's right or wrong in a fairness, equal sense, but I am not going to let that trans stuff. Uh, the what, what was going on is, I guess, um, in a town not real far from here, I guess they're hosting, uh, um, what do you call it, when men dress up as women. Um, help me out, babe. <laughs> when men dress up as women, not the trans, but the uh, you know, 
when they just dress like them. Not when I don't think they try to live like them. Dang it, I can't remember. It's the it's the most stupid word that should be right at the top of my head, uh, top of my tongue, the tip of my tongue. Something. I need to like quit spoken tonight. That's what my my problems with my spoken. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I um I I couldn't do that. No, I couldn't do that. Um, they I guess they were hosting. I don't know. I think there was a lodge or something. Um couple of towns away they were hosting an event and a homie can't play that sorry um there there is a lot of room i have for people to discuss stuff but there no not on my watch not on my watch um they are not gonna what what they wanted to do was promote like promote the event no not not there on my watch i can't do that and I am actually, even right now, uh, I admonish myself for that. I am really hard on myself for that because I feel like I'm taking the wrong stance there. But it's just something that I can't get past. I just can't get, drag queen, duh. I just can't get past it. And... You know, I'll be damned if I have any involvement in any way, shape, or form uh, to do with children being subjected to stuff like that. Not going to happen. Not on my watch. So that is the one thing that there has been a hard no. <laughs> but other than that, I don't give a damn. I've got the option open that if you want to post anonymously, you know, Go right ahead. Uh, there's one damn thing for sure. Uh, there better be some type of, of legal requirement for me to turn over a name to anybody that posts anonymously. I hate gossip. Um, as such, nobody that is in the gossip realm speaks to me. <laughs> and could I like shove gossip up people's asses? And uh, I, I despise it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I pretty much, I don't, as long as people aren't trying to harm others, it's, you know, I don't care. And the group, and I can't remember exactly when we started it. I don't know. I, I think it's been over, I know it's been over a year. I don't, I don't know when I started it for sure. Um, but. I'm I'm impressed. We're we're right at three thousand uh three thousand members right now. So which is uh which is not bad. I can't complain about that. Um years ago? Yeah, about two years ago. So so yeah. I, I didn't know if it was getting close to two years or not. Sorry I took so long to check into that folks. But yeah, about two years. We're currently at two thousand nine hundred and eighty eight members. So uh, growing, growing. Our town is only, uh, you know, a little under 10,000 population, so it's growing. I would tell you how many people's in the other groups, but I'm banned from them, so hmm, it is what it is. The reason I got banned from them was because I started this group, and I guess it hurt their feelings, and so they couldn't handle it. I guess, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. I wasn't trying to compete. I was just trying to get somebody a, a or give people a place where, you know, they wouldn't have their stuff deleted because it didn't fit under the purview of the millennial nanny. That's what I called her. <laughs> that was after I got banned. I got banned first, then I called her a millennial nanny because she is. She acts like it. I have no idea how old she is. But I know how old she acts. Okay. Well, I didn't do it. But anyway. So, as I was talking about that book. Um, highly recommend the series. Uh, I couldn't tell you. 
I think the status of that particular book right now is uh, if you have Kindle Unlimited, it's uh, it's free. Um, I couldn't tell you the status on the other 11 books in the series um, as to their Kindle Unlimited status. So I'm pretty sure you'll probably find, you know, I would almost bet that most of them are probably on Kindle Unlimited. Uh, there may be a couple they don't have on there. I don't know. I haven't looked in forever, so. Um, I I forgot where he was when I started, either 9 or 10, when I started reading his books, I believe. I believe like 9 or 10 is where he was at in his books. What I was talking about, essentially, just to bring everything home, folks really need to focus on building, not destroying. Um... Now, when I say this, it's it's in a sense. Fighting is not the hard part. And it, it's not. It's it's the dangerous part, of course. But it's not necessarily the hard part. The hard part is rebuilding. And it takes a lot. It takes the the right combination of the right things in leaders and in order to be able to facilitate that rebuilding um somebody out there that just has just the the ego that they got it all they can do it all they ain't gonna pan out so well and i know a lot of people might think i get off give off that attitude that is not the case um I am locally part of a large group. Um, there are absolutely people in charge in every aspect <laughs> of it. Um, there's no way I could do it all. I couldn't even begin to do it all. And in fact, you know, when you look at the big picture, my role, in a sense, is kind of small. Um, it's important, but it's small. But there is a lot of time and effort put towards being able to rebuild, not being able to destroy it. People just stack and stack and stack and stack the ammo. And yeah, you damn right you need enough. You damn right you need enough. But don't focus on the fight because that fight's not going to be there like the movies show you. That fight ain't going to be there like the social media influencers try to scare you. It's not. And if you live in a place that it is, it's going to be that way. And believe me, there's tons of places that it is. Then you need to be out of that place, whether it be permanently or for a bug out plan of some kind. But don't just plan to bug out to the woods. That's not a plan. I can't even, I've heard people that should know better than that kind of nonsense tell me that well, I'll just head to the woods people that should know better um, work more on that rebuilding because that's where it's at and that's where you're going to build strength you do not build strength by having a group of just 15 or 20 people hiding out in your bug out shelter with your box of crackers as I joke about all the time. That's not going to do anybody any good including yourself because you're going to run out of crackers eventually and anybody that is around when you come popping up out of your hole I've said this before they're not going to be very happy that they struggled the entire time while you were downstairs eating crackers 
and now you want their help because you ran out of crackers after they fought for a year and a half, two years in order to get to where they are. They're not going to be happy about that. I don't, I don't, people watch too much TV. <laughs> That's all I can say. People watch too much TV. <clears throat> there is a whole lot of places in our country to where there's not just going to be an unbelievable onslaught of violence throughout every single street in every single city. And oh my goodness, we're all going to die. Uh, I see the question, Steve. I don't know. Uh, what, or I see your question mark. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, that's that's the mindset. They want you to think that that it's going to be like saltines. <laughs> um, the mindset that they um, that they want you to have, and that's that's for most people. Thank goodness that's not the case. Now, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> there is going to be um, sticky sticky spots everywhere, namely where there's stores. You know, once people figure it out that things ain't going to be normal, I mean, I mean, really, really not normal, they're going to hit that store. And I don't care how calm of a town that you live in, there's probably going to be a rather high level of violence at that store. But if you're into preparedness, my first question is, what the hell are you doing there then? Because you should prepare, be prepared not to go. It's not worth that trip. It is not worth that trip. So you have to use common sense. But to think that on every single one of our streets in this town, that there is going to be just an onslaught of violence just everywhere, just ransacked like an army running through the whole town. Oh my God. Ah! No, it's not. People need to get a grip. People need to get a grip. It's not how it's going to roll out. It's going to be a lot of neighbors standing out in their yard at first going, what the hell is going on? That's how it's going to start out. Not the freaking band of armed bandits with the... I, whatever, make up something stupid. That's what I was reaching for. You know, again, that's movie, TV, crapola that the prepper channels just love to spew. Cracks me up. It's going to start out with neighbors standing, and, and I'm talking places like where I live, okay? I'm not talking in New York City. If you're in New York City, what the is wrong with you? Um, it's going to start out neighbors talking to one another. Your power go out too? Does, does, you, does your cell phone work or whatever the case may be? That's how it's going to start out. So you've got two choices there after you get done talking to your neighbor. You can go back inside. You can deadbolt the doors. <laughs> I don't know. Pick a bunch of stupid stuff that you can do to get ready for the alpaca lips. And, uh, and then you're sitting there eating your saltine crackers because Steve likes the brand name. And, uh, you know, you're sitting there eating your, your saltine crackers down in your little hidey hole. And <laughs> it, 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 to me, it really does sound that stupid. It really does sound that stupid. Look. Your neighbor don't have to know what you have. You, just because you talk to somebody doesn't mean, you know, the gentleman I spoke with today that, that moved here to town, that I was talking about speaking to him in the group. I didn't even tell him about the group that's already here. He mentioned the group, you know, it'd be a, be a good idea to have a, a, a mag. But <clears throat> for one, we're not taking anybody in. P 
period. That's a hard thing that's been set since 2013. As far as our core group, we're good. Now, we at all aren't proposed to other groups. And if so, other groups can get formed up that we can stay in communication with and work with in order to take care of a larger area. Absolutely. What was that that I was saying about one person can't do it all? Well, neither can one group. Neither can one group. It's a big difference than watching movies and TV series and all that nonsense and approaching it with the mindset from what you just watched. And it's a totally different thing approaching it from a completely tactical mindset and from a mindset that you're going to invoke change. And when I say change, I mean that in a positive way. In a positive way. If people would focus more on how they're going to fix things, on how they're going to build back after the collapse, if they focus more on that now, it will be much easier to make that transition. But I don't think a lot of people are looking at that. They're looking at how to best shoot other people. That's their main focus. That's their main motivation. And that's going to get you nothing but in the same place of the people that you put. At some point, your car to be called. You know, at some point, all of a car to be called. But it's kind of foolish to go out begging for it. And if you just shoot at everything that freaking moves in your AO, you're begging for it. You are damn sure begging for it. But I know it's not like that in the movies. And it won't happen to me. I know. I know. 